Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, update, daily update almost, on Bitcoin Cash. Uh, we're, we're taking a look at it again, I mean we, we haven't had that much movement, we got quite a lot of bearish momentum yesterday, uh, but overall Bitcoin Cash is holding on fairly well, I mean we got, um, like we also talked about yesterday, we got a lot of bullish momentum from 250, um, went all the way up to 300, did not manage to break above that and right now what I would argue is that we're just stuck in this consolidation right here between 300 and 270. Now, just uh, j j just for uh, just for a little bit of a reminder, I do still expect quite a significant crash uh, from Bitcoin Cash. I mean, Bitcoin Cash has been manipulated very, very much in the last uh, in the last month. If you take a look at the volume right now, you can probably still see it that if you take a look at where the volume is coming from, most of it, most, excuse me, most of it is still coming from that combination of Hotcoin, Bit, SuperX and Upbit, which are all uh, quite like risky exchanges if we're talking about manipulated cryptos. Uh, so I still think it's manipulated. I still expect uh, quite a significant pullback. I mean, if you take a look at where the volume is right now, compared to the beginning of the month, for example, still very high there's no good fundamentals for why a move like this would happen so i still expect a significant move down at some point of time um i, I don't hope that for for anybody that's holding bitcoin cash right now i mean if you think it's a great project that's fine i just think the the nature of this move is uh, is 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 fundamentally manipulated and therefore i expect a crash um and I also expect that we are going to continue in the bear market. So I do think we'll drop back down to those levels around $100, a little bit above that. But that's on the long term, might still take a couple of months. Um, but now onto Bitcoin Cash. So so at this point of time, to be fair, if we're just talking about the technicals, um, the situation is as following. We're in this consolidation. And at this point of time, we could still go both ways. Uh, because even though I do expect it to crash, before crashing, we could actually still have one last push up. Um, what you're seeing right now, for example, is that the volume is still very high. I mean, the volume has had these these bumps and these these drops, but the volume overall is still very high. I mean, five hundred million dollars in volume, that's always like top top ten, top fifteen in the whole crypto sphere. In terms of market cap, it's also a fifty or fourteen right now, so that's crazy. Um, so we could still have that final push. It's right now. It's just about which breakouts will we get first. I would say, I mean, if you want a prediction from me, I would say the most likely scenario is that we'll test 300 again, and then afterwards that we'll get some sort of a bearish breakout through 270, and that from there we'll start dropping down towards 240 and, uh, and 215 at first. Excuse me, by the way, I'm a little bit sick. That's what I think the most likely scenario is. But if right now uh, Bitcoin, which is still correlated with Bitcoin Cash, if Bitcoin right now gets a huge push all the way up to 31,400, and we actually are able to break above that, then it would be crazy if Bitcoin Cash doesn't follow that at least up to 350. So that's a possibility. So it, it depends a, a little bit on, on the market, on what Bitcoin does. But overall, I would say the most likely scenario is a crash. And even, even from three, 350, from there, it would also just be probably uh, a touch and then followed by a drop down back into this consolidation. Um, but that's my take on Bitcoin Cash for now. I mean, not a lot has, has changed since yesterday. And like I said, I mean, if you're holding Bitcoin Cash, I totally understand. Like personally, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of Litecoin, which is also a hard fork of Bitcoin, a little bit changed. But um, so I, I totally understand that some of these veteran cryptos actually could have something going for them. I just think that the nature of the move of Bitcoin Cash uh, is, is not supporting that. So that's my take on Bitcoin Cash for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.